Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to convert uh, metric units. So this is easier than the first assignment of the week and also it's not going to take too long because I'm not going to be making a lot of explanations about the year. So uh, bear with me. So the first question is about converting centimeters to millimeters. So all we have to do uh, with uh, the metric units is either dividing or multiplying by 10, 100, Thousand. Usually these three will work all the time, but it's always divided by either ten hundred or thousand So let's just learn with an example and see what uh, IXL guys are doing in here So when we convert something from centigrams to grams uh, We are going to divide it by 100 So let me just turn on my pen, okay so if you Google how many, uh, if you just do this, if you Google this CG to G, it'll tell you that the answer is this equation over here. So I will take that and then put it on the side and use the same method that I showed you in the other, uh, in the first uh, assi assignment of the week. So one gram is 100 centigrams okay using this this is 200 cg i'll put it underneath here my question is how many grams question mark gram this is what i need to figure out so the numbers are on the right side it's not going to be the same every single time uh so don't worry about like ending up with two numbers on the right side that's not a problem so the pattern between these two is from 100 to 200, it is times 2. And remember, we are always looking for multiplication or division. And then since this is times 2, that's what I need. So I would need 1 times 2, which is 2 gram. The answer should be 2 grams. Let's just scroll down and see what it is. Oops. Yep, they have 2 gram over here. So now let's get back to our practice question. Centigrams, centimeters to millimeters. So if you just Google this, one centimeter equals to, let me see, centimeter, millimeter, 10 millimeters. So once you have that conversion formula, uh, all you have to do is bring down the given uh, numbers and units. So this is what you have, 863 centimeters. So eight, 63 centimeters and as you see this time the numbers are uh, aligned on the left side and then we are trying to figure out how many millimeters the answer is going to be so my pattern is on the left side so let's figure it out it's times 863 because one times like any number times one equals itself so 863 uh, times 1 equals to 863. That's the pattern I'm looking for in here. When you multiply this number by 10, that means just add a 0 in the end. So this would be my answer, 8,630 millimeters. So let's check another example. Okay, here's another example. So let's just see how many centiliters uh, is a liter? So how many? And by the way, if you have centiliter and liter, uh, let me see how I can explain this. <laughs> okay, instead, let, let me just show you. Okay, centiliters. It's a liter. It's gonna give me a number that is less than one. So. Instead of doing this, I, I want to Google liters to centiliters because I, I don't want to deal with this. What, what is that? Or you can you can do this. You can also let's just let me just show you another way then. Uh, since it also gives you the formula, why don't you just use this formula? If I'm looking for the liter value of a centiliter, all I have to do is divide the original number by 100. So let's get back to our question. So if you divide this number, 
wait a second. If you divide this number, 64,800 by 100, uh, that means just cancel out the two zero in the end. So the answer would be 648. So there's your shortcut. If you want to use this method, you're welcomed. Just as long as it works, as long as you know what you're doing, I don't care what method you're using. So again, I did centiliters to liters and it gave me the formula. It told me to divide it by 100 and then that's what I did. It told me to divide it by 100 and that's what I did. Now let's move on to the next level and see another. Okay, so I'll try to keep this short uh, because I'm assuming you already watched my first video about this week. So since centigrams are the same, I ignore them. My original number is 48,589. I will either divide or multiply this, okay? So, now, what's going on is days are becoming weak, right? From day to week. Is this a longer time span or shorter time span? That's what I need to figure out. So, since the time frame is getting uh, extending, that means my number is going to be more. Just think of this. If we can eat, like, if you can drink five pops in a day, would you be, if you can drink five pops in a day, would you be drinking more or less in a week? So it would be more, that means I need to multiply. But by what number? So if you figure out the relationship between days and weeks, you, 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 you have your answer. So there are seven days in a week. So my number is seven. So this is like times seven. So once you multiply these two ridiculous numbers, you're going to end up with a huge number, but that's going to be the right answer. So let's move on to the next level and see that question. Okay, here's the last question of the day. So convert to find the equivalent rate. We have kiloliter, kiloliters per hour and we are going to convert it to liters per day. So both of the units are changed. Kiloliters turned into liters and then hour turned into days. So here's the first conversion from kiloliter to liters, what we have is multiply it by 100. That's what it says down here. Multiply the volume by 100. Well, my bad, 1000. Uh, so I get back to the original question. I start with my number, 217, and then I multiply this by 1000. And then I just assumed that I was going to divide, so I, I, I know I'm going to divide probably, but let's just not make any assumptions. 1000. Okay, so so far this is what I, ha what I have for the top conversion. For the conversion in the denominators, I need to convert the hours to days. How many hours do we have in a day? We have 24 hours in a day, but are we going to multiply or divide? Both is possible by the way. Just use the same analogy that I told you. So is the time getting longer or shorter? From hour to day, it's a longer time period. So the number that I have is going to be even more. So instead of dividing, as my original assumption, I need to multiply by 24. So it is going to be a huge number, but it's going to be right anyways. I don't care whether it's a ridiculously big number or small number, as long as it is right, I don't care what it is. So let's just multiply these numbers, 217 times 1000 times 24, 217 times 1000, times 24. Let's see what the answer is. Oh, I need to get rid of this. I didn't realize that. Oh my, oh, okay. 217 times, you don't need to watch this part of the video, by the way, <laughs> uh, times 1000, because I believe you, you can multiply these numbers uh, times 24, unlike me. And then, as you see, it is such a ridiculous number, 5 million and two, um, so whatever that number is, that's going to be your answer. So thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully I will see you in another video. Just if you have any feedback that you can give me, please make sure to email me or text me or leave me a voicemail. So whatever method works best for you, uh, I will see you in another video.